Hey, Matthew Liker here uh, with Xperia Financial and uh, financial tip for you today as we walk this road of 2022. Um, what occupies your mind? I know in my life, whatever occupies my mind, it eventually will affect my, my behavior. And I got two questions at the end of this video I want to ask you uh, because your mindset affects so much. I know a lot of times when we start thinking about you know, finances and making financial plans. We don't think a lot about our mindset, but your mindset, how you view the world, how you view yourself will affect uh, your financial plan. And if you, and, and whether you have limiting thinking um, or un, uh, unlimited, I'm not even sure if that's the right word, but, but limited thinking can hold you back. We want to be able to expand our thinking and think about options we have and look at possibilities and see problems uh, as opportunities and not uh, limiting factors. Hey, I totally get that sometimes there are limits in life. Limits aren't actually uh, always bad. Sometimes we think they're bad, but I don't think they're bad. But we can have success even within our limits, uh, but we need to recognize them. Uh, first, your mindset, just checking out my notes here, uh, your mindset, how you view others, how you view the world around you, how uh, you view yourself is going to shape how you manage your finances. And you need to understand it. And you need to know what ideas and thoughts do you have that either uh, come from your upbringing or yourself that affect how you manage uh, your money. For example, if uh, you are limiting yourself if you view those who are financially success, success as snobs or just lucky or, you know, they something's wrong, they they hurt people to get to where they want to get. Yeah, you know what? Some are snobs and some maybe did hurt some people to get to where they want. Uh, but that doesn't have to be you. And so the reality is we need people, we need rich people in the world. And I know you probably want to be one. You want to see financial success in your life. And and I get financial success is defined differently for, for everyone. We need, we need to define that. But today I want to just talk about the mindset. What is your mindset towards money and how do you view it and what has shaped your view of money in your life? So here's two questions I want to I want to give you today to think about as you as you start this new year and looking at financial uh, realities in your life and, and creating a financial successful financial uh, plan. Here's the first question is this identify limiting beliefs that you hold about money and then question if it's actually true. Repeat it one more time. Identify limiting beliefs you hold about money and then question if it's real, if it's actually true. Now, here's here's the second one. Very similar question. Great review questions for us this year. Uh, pick one belief about money. Pick one belief about money that you suspect that is holding you back. Pick one belief about money that you suspect is holding you back. And then ask this question. Why do I have this belief? And what would the world look like without it? Repeat that question one more time. Pick one belief about money you suspect might be holding you back. And then ask, why do I have this belief? And what would the world look like without it? Look, I want to encourage you. This year, 2020 can be different. And you can master your money instead of being mastered by it. I'd love an opportunity to be able to help you out in that. I'll keep uh, posting some videos like this over the next uh, the next weeks. And uh, let's go get together over coffee or Zoom coffee. I guess that uh, might be a reality uh, for many of us right now. But uh, let's chat and let's help you get to a place where you're mastering your money instead of being mastered uh, by it. Have a wonderful day and uh, take care.